everyone, I'm Kim Cash and I'm 59 years old, going on 60. And I just recently went to the store, got some makeup, and I'm going to put some of it on and show you how I use makeup products to try to look my best at my age with as few products as possible. And if you're interested, just keep watching. So I haven't gone to the makeup store in over a year because of the pandemic. So I decided to go and get a few things. And I went to Sephora, let's see. And I'm just going to show you what I got. I got a Vita Glow Primer Cocktail. This was a free gift from Smashbox. And I bought a um, freezing mask because I thought it sounded relaxing and I think during the pandemic we could all use some relaxation. I also got, I was going to get one lipstick but I could get all three of these for uh, about the same price as one and this was from Bare Minerals. It was 36 for three or about 12 bucks a piece. I also got, as a free gift, because it had been my birthday, I got this milk makeup. And my daughter-in-law had said it was really very um, soothing. And it came with, it's a hydro milk. Let's see what it is. I think these are just samples. So it did come with actually three things in this little box. One is a Hydro Primer. Let's see if you can see that. And then, just a sample one. And then this little milk makeup, um, it's like a blush. I think it's a blush. Let me see what it says. It says milk makeup. And it's kind of a red, so it must be a blush. And then it came also with a mascara and that was all all three of those little items were in this one box that was my birthday present from Sephora um, vitamin glow little gift box which comes with a primer cocktail and a let's see what else in here It came with, I guess the primer cocktail is um, these two items. The Vitamin Glow, let me see, I'm doing it the wrong way. Vitamin Glow, and then this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. They're just small, but they're samples, and I got them as a free gift because I think I bought so much stuff. I also got, some, what I went for was some mascara. And I got this Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. It's supposed to last for 12. Then I also bought a MAC lipstick because I got on a splurge, I guess. Then I wanted a um, eyeliner. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to get something fun. So I got this Rare Beauty palette, which I don't use a lot of um, eyeshadow, but I thought it would be fun to play with. And the holidays are coming, so why not? And the case is, it's really a nice little case. It's like a metal. And let's see if I can open it and show you the colors. I just got it open. Look at these pretty colors. I thought these would be fun for the holidays. And there's six of them. Let's open up the mascara, see how that is. 
Oops, almost dropped it. Super fan. Let's see what this looks like. This is what I went for, was for the mascara. Because I've got eyelashes that are blonde. And I thought I better get some mascara before the holidays. So I guess the first thing that I would try is this. Um, I'm just going to try this little, I always go the wrong way, this milk primer. Which, to be honest, I don't use a lot of primer because I don't usually wear foundation. But the sales clerk told me it should hide my wrinkles, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And I'm just going to put it all over because you can't really save this <laughs> anyway. But if I liked it, then I could um, go buy some more, I guess. And maybe I'm using a lot more than you need to. But because I don't usually use it, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just putting it on with my hands. I know that most women use a beauty blender. I think they're silly, <laughs> but that's just me. Okay, so I've got that. And then I should, let's see what this, this Vitamin Glow Smashbox, that's a primer too, so I'm not going to use that. They both seem to be primers. Okay, so I'm gonna use a, um, it is called BB Flawless, and the tint is, I think it's one of the lightest, tinted BB cream. It's just called cream. And because it's so light, I mix it with this Imani, and that's kind of a medium color, to make my own, because I'm really fair. And, I don't usually use it, so this is kind of old stuff. The Amani is oily, and so when I put a little bit on, you can see the, maybe you can see the oil run off of my hand. And then I just mix the two together on my hand and put it on. And I'm just gonna put it on all over, which usually I would only do this if I was going to take a picture or going to maybe a Christmas party or something. I honestly don't wear foundation usually because I don't have a lot of blemishes. I mean, of course we all get them, but I just don't like the feel usually of foundation, to be honest. It just feels so I want to scratch it off because I feel like I got something smeared all over my face and I guess I do. <laughs> okay, so I've kind of got that put on and I guess I could have used a beauty blender because now I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, so now I've got some foundation on and um, the primer. So the one thing I do use a lot is, um, because my eyebrows are blonde and my eyelashes, is I use some um, brow mascara. And this is the color I use. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then this is uh, another color I use, it's Lana, because I don't think, <laughs> it's just my opinion, but nobody's hair is all one color, and so on my eyebrows I like to have two different colors, just because I don't want it to be so, like, starkly one color. I should have gotten some more of this stuff. I forgot because I got carried away looking at all the colorful stuff like the palettes, which are always the most fun. <laughs> so um, I'll touch them up just a little bit more before I'm all done. If I use some of the palette, I did bring down some brushes because the palette didn't come with one. And I'm gonna just do it to play with it. I think they're so pretty. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try 
My favorite color, I think, is the greenish blue. And I'm just gonna see how that goes. It's hard to put on makeup when you wear glasses, but at my age, most women wear glasses, so. So it's just a reality. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of um, this kind of silvery white color right there up at the top. These have like a glitter in them. Well, it looks like glitter to me. See, this is why I'm going to have to touch up my eyebrows again because I got it in my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this white and just put it kind of in the corner of my eye. And of course I'm going to have to blend this a little bit. I think I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzy color right there. really pretty is that when you put this these eyeshadows on if they're not a cream based they seem to accentuate um, wrinkles which is not a good thing at my age I'm gonna try this milk blush just to see what I think of it and it's a cream so it should be Better for older women's skin, I would think. And I'm just going to put it up here. I'll rub it in a little bit. I know, I'm supposed to use a beauty blender so I don't um, get any germs or anything on my face, but I don't do it often enough to worry about it, to wear the makeup. and. It says you can use this on your lips, so I'm going to do it just to try it. It feels good and it looks natural, which I like, but because the ball is so big, you can't really control where you're putting it. So that could be a real issue. Okay, so then I got this new eyeliner that I wanted to try. I gotta open it up. But I'm gonna try to put that on and then I'm gonna blend out this makeup. And I think opening my mouth helps me. <laughs> so I did the eyeliner and it went on pretty well. But then what I do to um, blend the eyeshadow is, I know most people use a blending brush, but I use um, Jaffra Royal Jelly. And what I do is take a little spatula and I just put a little bit on my hand. And then I'm going to use the little mirror that I have here and I just take a little bit of the royal jelly and put it on and kind of blend it out because otherwise for a woman my age if you don't have some kind of moisture um, it's gonna look dry and cakey it just is you can use your brushes a little bit to blend it some more But I don't also want to look like I have a lot of makeup on. I just like to have a little bit of color. So I put the moisturizing lotion over it. I know you could put it underneath it, but it doesn't go on as well then, <laughs> in my opinion.
and I just use my fingers a lot. I also use Q-tips. But then the next thing I'm gonna do is try this mascara, which is the one thing I really wanted to get. And then I'm gonna try the other lipsticks too, just to see if there's one that I really like. I do have um, pretty long eyelashes. They're just blonde. And so, wow, can you see that? The lady said, the sales lady said to me that this would be a really natural mascara that it fans out and it keeps you from looking cakey or clumpy. And I didn't want something that looked clumpy. <laughs> I seem to always open my mouth as I put makeup on. I don't know why. I don't usually do my bottom lashes just because then it seems to smear. Under my eyes and I don't need any more dark circles under my eyes. Can you see that? Okay. Okay, so all I did was clean up my eyebrows a little bit. But um, I'm going to try these lipsticks. This one says that it is the... You know, the writing is so tiny. This one's Rosewood. And I'll put it on my hand so you can see what color it kind of looks like. Let's see, that's... So I'm gonna put it on, see if it makes a big difference. <laughs> but it's only six bucks, so even if it doesn't make a huge difference, it's not a big loss of money. I have really tiny lips, so maybe this will make them look bigger. I don't know, do you think it helps? So that's the rosewood, which I do like that color. It's pretty natural. And then I have these. So I'll show you the, all the different colors I got. These were like a holiday gift. You can see the Christmas trees on them. So there's three of those and I'll show you what those are. And then I got this Mac. Um, satin lipstick. Let's see what. And Mac, I didn't get. I didn't get that at Sephora. But this color is um, epic. It says epic. It's kind of a dark. I'll put it on my hand so you can see it. Now, right. Let me put down the lid. Right there is the Rosewood Lip Liner. And then this is the Epic. It's kind of a purplish color. Kind of purplish. We'll see what that looks like. I like that color. But I want to try the other ones too. So I'm going to wipe this one off and then I'll try, I'll show you the different ones here. This one is called Harmony. This one is Harmony.
And I'll put that one on my hand too, so maybe you can see that. Let's see. That one's a reddish. It's almost, to me it's almost got a little um, orange in it. That's Harmony. And then this one is Purpose. That is a really red. Can you see that? And I'll put that on my hand too. Let's put that down here. Can you see how red that one is compared to the purple? Or the, the purple was epic. And then this one up here, the pinkish red was rosewood. But this would be a really fun one for Christmas, this purpose. Okay, and then the last one, this one is called Memory. That one's kind of a more subtle, kind of a, it's got a plum kind of color, let's see right here. Can you see that? Let's put a little bit more on. It's kind of a, um, well you can see that the purple is very different and the red. Let's see if I can get them in there. That's a really red one and that one's a really purple one. That's more of a pinkish plum which kind of goes better with the rosewood, I would say. The rosewood has a little more red to it. But I'm gonna wipe off my lips, which I have the, um, the MAC one on right now, which was epic. And it was the really purplish color. It doesn't look so purple on my lips, so. Anyway, I'm gonna wipe off my lips and be right back. Okay, so I wiped off my lips and I used a lotion to get it off. And I'm going to start with, let's see, the so memory was kind of the pinky one and then the harmony. It, well, the harmony has more pink to it than this one's the harmony. And this one is... The memory and you can see they're pretty similar this one harmony has more of a brownish tone to it than this one and then the one I really like is the purpose which is the really red because I wanted something for the holidays so we'll see They're all creamy. And it's not, um, because my lips are small, I think, the red doesn't look um, super dramatic. <laughs> if you had larger lips, it might be really dramatic. But I'm gonna wipe that one off. And then I'm going to try, I guess the more subtle of them, which is the memory. The more subtle of the three. I like that one for an everyday lipstick, if you wear lipstick every day. I don't always wear it every day, but it is really moisturizing, which is nice. 
Especially when you're older because you start getting all these little wrinkles around your lips. Okay, and the last one I'm gonna try is the Harmony. Now that I've um, rubbed my lips so much, I would put probably a little lotion on to soothe my lips because <laughs> I've tried them all, all these different lipsticks. But I'm going to go um, brush my hair, take off my glasses, and show you the makeup. Okay. So this is how I look with my makeup on. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't really tell too much. But what do you guys think? Tell me what products you like or if you use any of these or if you think I could have used them a different way to look better. I'll add a couple product um, information links below. And one other thing I have that I wanted to try is um, some fake eyelashes, which I've only tried them a couple times, but I don't know if you can see, but I have um, really long eyelashes without using um, fake eyelashes. And the thing that scares me about fake eyelashes is that you gotta use this glue near your eyes. <laughs> so I could just see myself dropping some glue in my eyes. But look at, aren't those kind of cool? They're just fun. So I might try to do that. So that's how I look with my new makeup. Mainly what I wanted was this, the lips, um, the, not lipstick, which I bought four of. It was the uh, mascara, which I have to put my glasses on to read it again to you. It's the Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara by Smashbox. And it really did seem to do a good job it's a pretty red container, perfect for Christmas. It's a Christmas color. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them, but I'm sure you could tell I'm not a makeup artist. So um, thanks for watching. Bye.